Changamu ya mjambo. Changamu ya mjambo. Hebu tusalimiane tafadhali. Asante sana. Tuwashukuru sana ukaribisho wenu. Utaniruhusu nisome hii speech yangu alafu baadaye tuongee kidogo. Sawa sawa? Si hivyo? Speaker of the Senate Kenneth Lusaka our host today governor of Mombasa County the chairperson council of governors and governors present waheshimiwa wabunge viongozi wote wananchi wenzangu it is my distinct honor to join you on this historic occasion as we today launch the national scale up of the universal health coverage for all Kenyans and move closer to the realization of our national agenda on health care. Indeed, as Governor Joe has stated, as we were coming here, we went by Chani Level 3 Hospital, which is a classic primary level facility representing the fundamental pillars of the delivery of universal health coverage. Indeed, primary level health facilities including the level two, offer the first point of call to Mwana Inchi, and therefore for us as a nation to achieve our goal of universal health coverage, the guarantor is a robust primary health care system, and I congratulate you, Governor, for the work that you have done there. Ladies and gentlemen, the COVID-19 pandemic has brought to bear the urgent need for us to upscale our implementation of the universal health coverage pillar of our Big Four agenda. Under this pillar, we seek to eradicate the poverty of dignity and to transition our nation into an era where no Kenyan should be forced to choose between medical bills and other essential needs. Today, we are pleased to report that the journey that commenced at the dawn of our Republic of eradicating ignorance, disease, and poverty has received a much needed momentum. Our journey towards universal health coverage commenced in 2013 with the launch of the free maternity program, Linda Mama, which we have heard testimony about, which today currently benefits over one million mothers every year. Thereafter, the piloting of the universal health coverage has since progressed through various phases, with today's phase being to ensure that Kenyans have health insurance coverage through a reformed NHIF. All these steps have been deliberate and have also been collaborative between the two levels of government, that is, the national government and the county government. So this is a journey that we must travel together with partners, including our county governments, development partners, the public, and other key stakeholders, including the religious community. I also want to thank our private sector for their provision of 41% of outpatient services in the country. And so fellow Kenyans, to bring the nation closer to its destiny, my administration has initiated various programs on health infrastructure. The investment that we have made since 2013 have seen an increase of 43% in public health facilities from a stock of 4,428 facilities in 2013 to now 6,342 across the country. In the same period, our ICU capacity has increased by an impressive 502% and our total hospital bed capacity has also increased significantly by 47%. In an unprecedented program, my government upgraded hospitals across the 47 counties and the national referral hospitals 
with specialized state-of-the-art medical equipment that had been fully funded by the government to enhance availability of essential medicines and supplies the government has developed three key lists notably the Kenya essential medicines list essential medical supplies list and the Kenya medical laboratory list these lists are intended to guide health facilities on the selection and investment of commodities to address the human resource shortage the country has been experiencing over the past 10 years. We increased the total number of health workers in the public and private sector by 41%. Between 2013 and 2018, in addition, 15,234 healthcare workers were recruited under the Universal Health Coverage Program and COVID Management Program, and in addition, Community health coverage has been increased from 10% in 2013 to the current 91%, reflecting enhanced capacity of the community health workforce following the establishment of 8,663 community health units across the country. Earlier today, I did preside over the launch of the conference on harmonization of curriculum and training of healthcare professionals, which is aimed at enhancing the skills of our healthcare staff. This is a key factor in the delivery of universal health coverage. So ladies and gentlemen, we have also made significant progress in HIV, T TB, and malaria programs. Today, currently one, about 1.2 million Kenyans who are living with HIV are actively enrolled in universal health care coverage. On TB, my administration has reduced the number of new TB infections by 46% and also put in place social protection for TB patients. In the case of malaria, the proportion of outpatient visits attributed to malaria has dropped from 30% in 2009-10 to 18% currently. To digitize health services, my administration has developed a digital health platform to support the effective monitoring of the health sector and roll out the universal health coverage. In a holistic whole government approach, the enabler ministries have also been engaged to ensure that other key services are available in our health facilities. These include the ministries of water, energy, ICT, and infrastructure. On COVID-19, today we can say that Kenyans, we have, as Kenyans, we are continuing to ease out from the fourth wave. And also pleased to report the very encouraging progress that we have made in the vaccination task. As of today, a total number of 12,390,116 12, doses have been administered and we are well on our way to the target that we have set for ourselves of 27, 27 million fully vaccinated Kenyans before the end of this year. So ladies and gentlemen, on this note, as a government, we will not tire to continue to urge all Kenyans to be vaccinated and to continue to observe the Ministry of Health guidelines. Adherence to the health protocols is what has enabled us to ease the challenge of COVID-19. As envisioned under the Vision 2030 on the 21st of January 2022, I did establish the Kenya National Public Health Institute to lead and coordinate public health functions across sectors. This will enhance efficiency and promote evidence-based decisions on health matters. In view of these, there is need to ensure that the strategic direction of universal health coverage in Kenya is clear. And in this regard, my administration has developed the universal health care coverage policy covering the period 2020 to 2030 
to guide the acceleration of the progress in attaining universal health coverage. I am also pleased with the development of the Kenya Health Financing Strategy, which proposes practical solutions to addressing financing challenges. And today, I do direct the Ministry of Health and the National Treasury, as well as the Planning Ministry, to ensure the consolidation of all government-sponsored programs is finalized and operationalized by the end of June this year. Fellow Kenyans, to further the realization of Universal Health Coverage Goal, the NHIF Amendment Act was passed by Parliament. And today, I want to thank through you, Speaker Lusaka, and the two honorable chairs of the health committees of the National Assembly and the Senate, our thanks to members of both houses for your collaboration on this act and on other bills that you have passed regarding health. The act makes a very important milestone in enhancing health insurance coverage for all Kenyans. For example, it provides that NHIF establishes a centralized healthcare provider management system to ensure efficient management and payment of claims and data collection. And today, I direct the NHIF to ensure that this system is set up and fully operational by the end of June this year so that Kenyans can benefit. As I have previously directed that all necessary reforms be undertaken to ensure effectiveness of NHIF and to secure these funds, today we also further direct that biometric registration at NHIF be interlinked to the Huduma Number database. So fellow Kenyans, this journey that we continue will not be a journey without challenges including ensuring consistent availability of medicines and medical supplies. We need to bridge the significant human resource for health gaps and containing also the cost of services to mention but a few. I particularly urge our counties to urgently ensure that our health facilities do have financial autonomy. The funds collected by the facilities should be reinvested in those facilities for the benefit of all of us. The reforms currently underway at KEMSA and NHIF must be concluded for Kenyans to benefit from all these efforts. Together, we must address these challenges moving forward to ensure affordable and quality health care services for all. I also urge all counties to put in place communication programs to raise the awareness of Kenyans about the transformation that is taking place in our health care systems. I want to thank our county governments. I want to thank our development partners, the Ministry of Health and all the sagas under it and all who have been involved in this noble task that has culminated in today for their unqualified contribution and the work that they have done to ensure that we are able to stand before you today. Finally, I would not shy to say that my administration has successfully set the unshakable foundation for achieving our goal of 100% health insurance coverage, and as a result, access to affordable and quality health care so that never again should a Kenyan needlessly suffer or be driven to poverty because of medical bills. It is my prayer that this will be sustained and all the efforts will be for the benefit of all Kenyans. Kwa hivyo wenzangu, 
mimi sitaki kuongea sana nimesema yangu tumesikiza mengi kutoka wale ambao wameongea lakini nikependa tu kusema hii kazi ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba wananchi wetu wameweza kupata huduma za afya kwa bei nafuu ni safari ambaye tumekuwa tukitembea kwa muda mrefu na sasa pahali ambapo tumefika la muhimu zaidi ni kuhimizia wananchi wajiandikishe na NHIF mumesikia wale ambao wameongea hapa mbele yetu na umesikia gharama ile huyo mzee ambaye wamepata hiyo hip surgery ile gharama ama ile pesa angeulizwa alipe na hiyo gharama yote imelipwa na NHIF kwa sababu alikuwa na kadi yake Tuasema kama wa Kenya tunataka kumaliza umaskini. Huwezi umalize umaskini. Kama ugonjwa utaingia nyumbani kwako. Huna kadi ya insurance. Uende uulizwe maelfu na maelfu ya pesa. Na uko na mzee mgonjwa, uko na mtoto mgonjwa mwishowe kwa sababu utataabika kwa sababu ya ugonjwa ya huyo mtoto huyo mzee ama huyo mama uanze kuuza mali yako uachwe bila kitu kwa sababu ya ugonjwa tunataka mambo haya yaishe katika nchi yetu kila mkenya awe ana uwezo wa kwenda hospitali na kutibiwa na kurudi nyuma kurudi kazini kwake bila kuwa amefilisika na ameishiwa ameuza vyombo vya jikoni ameuza vitanda ameuza kila kitu kwa sababu ya ugonjwa wa Kenya wenzangu tujiandikishe na NHIF na tujiokoe kiafya na tujiokoe pia kwa hela ambazo sasa tutakuwa na uwezo wa kutumia kufanya mambo mengine si ni hivyo kwa hivyo wa Kenya na waomba ugonjwa hamna mtu anajua utatokea wapi siku gani ajali pia hujui Mwenyezi Mungu peke yake ndio anajua we jukumu lako unaweza kusema ah mimi sina haja na hiyo unaona mimi ni kijana sina shida hiyo pesa uh, what is the money now you ask every month si hiyo shilingi 500 ambao wanasema watu walipe kila mwezi mimi sina haja ya kutumia hiyo pesa. Lakini siku moja utajua maana ya kutumia hiyo pesa. Hiyo shilingi tano itakuokoa mamilioni ya pesa ambao utakuwa unasumbua kila mtu tufanye harambe, tufanye nini, niuze shamba, nifanye nini. Ah ah tuondoe umaskini kwa kujiandikisha kwa NHIF. Tutakubaliana hiyo. Ya pili, tumefanya investments kubwa sana katika mahospitali yetu. Kesho nikiwa hapo Mombasa, tutaenda kutembelea Coast General Hospital. Na mimi naielewa hiyo hospitali. Pahali ambapo hospitali ambaye inaitwa Coast General ilikuwa mbele ya mwaka wa 2013 na pahali hospitali hiyo leo iko hospitali ya Coast General Jameni watu wanatoka mahospitali kubwa wakitafuta kitanda Coast General tunaelewana That is the kind of development and the focus we want. Leo hii ukiwa na ugonjwa wa kansa 
Hakuna haja ya kutahabika sijui niende India tufanye nini tufanye nini hapa tu coast general utibiwe hapa 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 Mombasa These are the things that save you Ukiwa na open heart surgery inafanya Ukitaka kupasuliwa kichwa enda embu upasuliwe huko eh? Hii ni mambo ambayo inafanyika nchi hii ndoto ambao watu walikuwa wanafikiria hii haiwezekani Leo huo ugonjwa wa, 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 wa kansa tuko na watu ambao wanatoka inji sa nje kuja kutibiwa hapa kwetu Na hii yote ni kusema nini gharama itashuka Hata gharama sitaki niseme sana Hata gharama ya hii hospitali kubwa kwa sababu sasa wataanza kushindana na mahospitali bora ya serikali anza kuona busiende mimi wacha nishukishe bei yangu kwa nini kwa sababu wanajua wa Kenya sasa watakuwa na alternative ya kwenda kwa hospitali ya serikali so the overall cost of provision itashuka itashuka if we continue on this trajectory na hii ndio kazi ambayo sisi tumekuwa tukifanya Uh, ndiyo mimi naangalia wenzangu wengine na mimi sina shida na mtu mnanijua jameni mimi sina shida na mtu mimi sina shida na mtu mimi nawaangalia tu hivi nawasikia huko hakuna kazi inafanywa hakuna wakiongea juu ya magari ni matusi hakuna kazi na sasa jameni mimi nataka niwaambie chama ya, hata chama hiyo ya rais ilikufa mimi niliomba kura ya wakenya si ndio nikiwa na mambo mawili kuleta amani na kufanya ile kazi na kutimiza ahadi ambazo nilipatia wananchi kama hii ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba watu wako na afya bora na hiyo kazi haifanywi kwa mdomo kwa kushau tuko mlinichagua niingie ofisi nifanye kazi si ndio na jubilee imekuwa ikifanya kazi barabara mnaziona mkitembea hapa changamu e hii hizi barabara zimejaa huku zilikuweko jameni ilikuweko eh hivi karibuni pia tutafungua hii dongo bypass wa, eh, dongo kundu bypass tukifungua hiyo dongo kundu bypass tuko na mradi tunataka kujenga na eh, wenzetu wa Japan na wengine Muradi wa kuset up a special economic zone hapo ndio wananchi waweze wapate kazi na vijana wetu waweze kupata ajira. Itawezekana bila hiyo barabara jameni? Itawezekana? Sisi tumekuwa kazi kama jubilee. Na kama mnakumbuka mimi niliuliza kwa heshima tu nikasema jameni sina ubaya na ambition za mtu yeyote kwa sababu kiti kubwa sio ya uhuru ni yenu nyinyi kweli kutoka MCA mpaka rais nani anachagua shilingi eh hata mimi kura yangu ni moja tu wananikumbusha kila siku ah huyo kura yake ni moja ni kweli eh mimi sikatai kura yangu ni moja tu eh kama ya mkenya mwingine lakini chama chetu cha jubili kimekuwa kazini na mimi sitachoka kuzunguka kuonesha wakenya kazi ambayo tumefanya na mimi sitachoka kuambia wakenya chaguli hii chama yetu mnaona hii chama yetu inafanya kazi na tunataka kuungana na wengine kama wakina Joho na wale wengine ambao wanataka kazi na ndio shughuli ziendelee ama inaendaje jameni ama inaendanga namna gani lakini wewe ambao unataka kuishi kuongea siasa mchana mpaka usiku na wakati nilisema hivyo nikasema jameni kwa heshima kwanza tufanye kazi tutarudi wakati wa siasa ukifika nikaambiwa nikaambiwa wewe una uwezo wa kutuambia tuache nikasema sasa hii mambo ya kutangatanga ni sasa hata sisi tutangatanga nikasema basi ewe ala kama hivyo ndivyo umeona ndio inakutosheleza endeleeni sisi na wale tumebaki tufanye ka kipindi cha siasa sikifika tutakuja tuseme na yetu si sisi sasa kipindi ya siasa imekuja na mtakusikia tumeelewana eh 
kuna wakati wa kazi na kuna wakati wa siasa sasa tunaingia kipindi ya siasa kila mtu ako na uhuru sasa wale ambao wametangulia na wale ambao tunaingia na niliambia watu hii 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 ni marathon ya kwa sababu eh, eh, hii hii ni marathon hii ni marathon ukiona mtu akisema mimi sina project ya mtu mimi lakini nitaangalia hata mimi kura yangu sitaweka pahali ya mtu mimi nitaamini na kama kuna mtu mmoja ama wawili watanisikiza nitawaambia mimi oni wangu ni hivi sina namna hiyo moja 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 most most baada eh haya kubwa tuungane nimeambia ni watu tukiwa tukiwa hapo tuwe, tumekuwa kwa hospitali ya kwamba kama sio kuungana na kufanya kazi na wenzetu across the political divide mengi ambaye tumetimiza hatungeweza kutimiza tunaelewana hatungeweza kwa sababu hichi ambaye kazi yake ni siasa 24/7 masaa ya kazi na maendeleo yako wapi? Eh? Yawezekana? Ukienda kama hii bill ambaye sasa imekuwa sheria na unaipinga ukifikiria wacha nipinge nitaumiza uhuru sasa utamuumiza kwa njia gani? Si si wananchi wanaumia. Eh? Si wananchi wanaumia jamani. Eh? So that is not leadership. Ati ndio upate nafasi na ndio umesikia mimi nawaangalia na, na tu kwa sababu ongeeni tu. Semeni wote ile mko nayo muitoe kwa roho yenu, museme, museme, museme. Mimi siwajibu kwa sababu sina haja. Utamjibu saa ngapi niofanye kazi saa gani? Eh? Si ni namna hiyo. Mwataka tujibiane ama mwataka tufanye kazi? Si ndio hivyo. Si ni namna hiyo na nyinyi waulize na nyinyi pia mshikilie amani mshikilie umoja tushirikiane tubadilishe nchi hii yetu ya Kenya iwe vile mishi ametuambia mtu anajiuliza naenda Dubai kufanya nini na Dubai kwa hapa na Nairobi eh eh ama ni namna gani si hivi Mtu aseme naenda 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 sijui kutembea mabichi ya wapi wapi barabara iko hapa niingie Mombasa nikae starehe na bibi nipumzike na watoto nirudi kazini To show you how Kenya has changed Hii covid imetufundisha na imetufungua macho kwa sababu ya ile kazi tumefanya kwa FGR na ile kazi ambayo tumefanya ya mabarabara ni wananchi wengi ambao wameweza kushikilia kazi zao kwa sababu hata kama wazungu wale ambao tulikuwa tumezoea ati hawa ndio watalii wetu tumepata wazungu wapya wazungu wa Afrika ambao wanatoka Mombasa wanakuja wanaweka hela zao hapa wananchi wanapata kazi ana hotel za biwaki This is something nakuna mzungu amekuja ndege zilikuwa akiambiwa atunusiende kwa Afrika mtapata kuvi na hawa ndio wanakufa huko sisi hatika Si hao hiyo lakini huko wanasema mjiende huko kwa Afrika hawa hawa mtapata kuvi Sisi tukasema basi mkae mkae na kuvi yenu sisi tuendelee na jamani tumesurvive kama hatujasurvive Si tumesurvive Ya yeah? na tunataka sasa tuanze hiyo mwenendo wa kujitoa sasa turudi biashara turudi makazi ile ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya uchumi uanze kukua tena and we are becoming more and more self reliant than ever before na hiyo ndio barabara ya kujenga nchi eh si namna hiyo si namna hiyo Yeah, yo ah sasa ni usaji hiyo ni andani lakini <laughs> yangu ni kusema 
Tushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yale ambaye ametuwezesha kutenda. Na tuombe Mwenyezi Mungu ya kwamba pamoja kama wakenya tutaweza kuungana pamoja na tuunde serikali ambaye itaweza kuendelesha hiyo kazi na kuiongezea hata zaidi. Ya? Na iwe serikali ya umoja na serikali ya amani na serikali ya mapenzi sio yale chuki ambaye imesikia wengine wetu wakitupa huko huko na huko na huko chuki haijengi nchi haijengi nchi na ndipo mimi nasema wakikuyu wana msemo wa kusema matusi ni ndio adoni ni msoini yenu wewe ni gani mtu ndio 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 eh matusi ndio ushanga wa viongozi kama hutusiwi wewe sio kiongozi kwa hivyo mimi nasema ukisikia wakinitusi zaidi ujue ni kwa sababu wanajua wanagongana na mtu ambaye <laughs> kwa sababu kama ungekuwa bure vile wanasema hata hawangeongea zako lakini wanasema eh hey, hey, ule yako ule yako ule yako ule amevaa hapo na <laughs> sawa yeah, hii ni mshanga unaweka tu unaweka unajibamba unaendelea eh kwa hivyo wenzangu tuwe na amani tuwe na siasa za heshima na Kenya itasonga mbele na tutakuwa na amani si hivyo changamwe Mungu awabariki Mungu awalinde tutarudi tena asanteni sana <laughs>